there's way too much pressure put on the start of a new year of having to make a resolution and then feeling like you might be subject to fail. Welcome. It's really great to be here with you in this incredible time of transformation. This is a time of looking back at the past year. You might be reflecting on what you love. You might see the things that you want to change. And this is a really important time that people are looking to say, if you have set uh, New Year's resolutions in the past, it's an important time that that people are starting to think of, what are my resolutions? Where do I want the next year to be different? And I personally have never set New Year's resolutions because uh, I think there's a big problem with the statistics and how many people are not accomplishing what they set out to accomplish in any new year. If you look at the statistics, you would see that 25% of people are not fulfilling their New Year's resolutions within the first 30 days, and only 8% of people are actually accomplishing their New Year's resolutions. This is a very big problem, and, and I believe this is a problem for a few different reasons. Number one, resolutions usually come from a place of frustration. They come from a place of construction. I don't like this, I'm not comfortable with this, I want this to change or I want this to be different versus a place of inspiration and expansion. I wanna bring this into my life. I wanna welcome this, I wanna create more space so I can move towards this goal or this state of balance, I wanna receive the relationship, I want to have the success in my career, I wanna balance my health. It's coming from a place of inspiration. I think that is part of the difference between setting goals or resolutions and setting intentions. And so this time that we're together is about setting your intention for the new year. And going back to some of the problems with the resolutions, one of the other problems I believe is that when you set a New Year's resolution, it has to be on January 1st. That is a very big day. It's a lot of responsibility. It is a day that society has picked that we have to comply with to start a really big change in our life. But what if we're not ready? Sometimes we're not ready. So again, it has that constriction. It has that force. And if you are celebrating the end of the year, if you are out till midnight and you have bubbles and you're doing cocktails and celebrating with friends, the next day on the first, you are likely tired, even though you have the day off. So it's also really not supporting your best and highest place of expansion. So this setting intentions is going to allow you to bring in the things that you want in your life at the time that's right for you. And then if you want to set your goals or perhaps a resolution, set it anytime in January, February, March, April, May, whenever that is for your life, because you'll be ready. You'll be ready to face it. You may have prepared your house, your schedule, the people around you to support the intentions that you have for yourself. And I think a really great example in my life is uh, some of my nutrition and eating habits. So I have a relatively healthy diet and I like my sweets. And so sometimes I uh, will be eating more sugar than I think is healthy or that I want in my life. And if I find that I'm frustrated with my diet and that I'm eating more sugar, I generally try to heighten my awareness for some period of time. And I try to look and say at the end of the day, how much sugar did I eat today? And I don't really try to change it. I don't want to do anything about it because there's a reason for every single thing in my life. So I'll let myself move through this period of time and I'll be aware, how do I feel? How much am I eating? Am I ready to stop this? Maybe it's fulfilling some emotional need and that's okay. But the awareness is what I think allows you to come to the place of change and transformation. So all of a sudden, I will be ready at the time that I'm ready to throw away the processed flours and sugars and the biscuits 
and the chocolate, although I will usually eat dark chocolate, or anything that's not supporting me in eating a healthy, full, whole nutrition diet that supports my health and wellness and balanced state of physical and emotional well-being. And it feels really expanded and I feel like I'm doing something for myself and I get really proud of that. So be curious about some of the goals that you want to set for yourself once you've set this broader intention. And we'll be setting this intention together in meditation. The other problem with setting resolutions is that it's coming from a mental, mindful state. It's coming from the level of thought and thinking. And we have a lot of thoughts going on in our mind at all times. But if you go beyond the thought and you access the space, you start to have a dialogue with your true self. It's more spaciousness. In this meditation, I'm gonna guide you into a meditation and then I'm gonna let you rest in some silence. I'll tell you exactly how to cultivate that silence. Don't think that you have to force out your thoughts. You don't. Just be aware of any of the other experiences or thoughts and that awareness naturally expands the space. And at the end of the meditation, I'll ask you to set your intentions. And these intentions become very different than the goals that you might set for yourself in a resolution. One of the examples this year is I was living in a space that I felt was toxic, uh, had some uh, mold and had some toxicity in the environment, and I wanted a very a healthy new space to live in. So I was trying to manifest a new space to live. I needed a new space to live. Well, one day in meditation, I went through the same meditation that I'm gonna guide you in and asked myself, what do you really want? What is your deepest desire? And my desire was to be healthy and to be whole. And I realized it really didn't matter if I was in that physical space as long as the walls were healthy, as long as it was supporting me to be in my best and highest self. And if something happened that there was some construction or um, there was a complete change in the walls and the research, or if I had done a mold test and found out that there wasn't any toxicity in the environment, I might have been very happy. But it sent me down a very different path of how I looked for the space of health and wellness and wholeness. And very unexpectedly, I ended up buying a house just a couple months later, and it really came out of nowhere. And it was because I had started a dialogue with my inner self, with my true self, and I have the most amazing space of groundedness and support for me to be whole and healthy in so many different areas of my life, not just on a physical level, of bringing in good, healthy uh, energy and oxygen and releasing the toxicity of the environment. So I welcome you into this really beautiful time of your new year. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope you enjoy this guided meditation. Uh, find a very comfortable place. Uh, if you're not already sitting there, if you wanna pause the video and take a moment, um, it's not important where you're at. Um, if you can find a quiet place, it will be uh, conducive to the meditation. So find a really comfortable space that you can be alone, that you can close your eyes and you can start to settle in to this meditation. Allow yourself to become very comfortable, relaxing. Notice the body beginning to settle. The mind follows. Feel the shoulders moving away from the ears. The arms becoming heavy, the hands completely relaxing. Your hips and your torso sinking into the place that you're sitting Feeling so supported and so safe in this place. Relaxing more and more deeply into your ground state. The state of balance, of restful alertness.
allowing yourself to realign and remember who you truly are. You are pure awareness. You are pure light and pure love. The only reason that you have felt separate from this light and love is because of the stress in your life. Because of the activity in the external world. The activity of the mind. The thoughts that are looping over and over. So many of those thoughts critical perhaps controlling, forcing. Allow yourself to make this inward journey from activity into the space between the activity, the space of your true self, the space of awareness, light and love. I invite you to bring your awareness to the center of your chest, your heart center. Noticing the space of light and love emanating from your heart. Notice how bright that light is as soon as you bring your awareness to the space. It is always shining brightly and yet we forget sometimes. And as you rest your awareness here, this light of awareness expands throughout the entire heart and chest. Illuminating every space of the body. And even the spaces that you may have felt that they've been dark or hidden for some time. This light penetrating those spaces. There is nothing in the body or the mind that is hidden from this light and love. Everything is becoming lighter and brighter, full of the light and divine love that is you. Feel the vibration of this light moving through your limbs, your organs, every cell of your entire body. I'd like you to continue to allow your awareness to rest on the light of awareness in your heart, perhaps the vibration in your cells. If you have a favorite mantra that you use during meditation or your primordial sound mantra, I invite you to begin the silent repetition of that mantra. And if you'd like to rest in this pure vibration of light and love, allow every breath to illuminate this light on the inhale, And every exhale, expanding this light. Perhaps creating a ring of light and love around you, expanding out from the physical body. Anytime your awareness drifts away, from the light of awareness or the mantra that you've chosen. 
allow yourself to notice whatever has taken you away, whatever the experience is. It may be a thought. It may be a sensation in the body. Or perhaps a sound in the external environment is taking your attention away from the presence of being. Whenever your awareness drifts away to an experience, there is no frustration in this moment. Rather, there is an honoring of the natural impulse of the mind and an awareness. Awareness of the thought, experience, sensation, whatever arises, notice it. And in that moment of noticing, I invite you to make a choice to come back to the source of your awareness and continue to rest in that space of vibration and awareness. Rather than continuing to follow any thought patterns. So often in our active lives, we're following that stream of consciousness and our mind is bouncing from one experience to another. And this is your time to be highly aware of any experience being very curious, just allowing these experiences to naturally occur without any judgment or forcing them out. Simply noticing and again coming back to the source and vibration of the meditation. So it becomes a very gentle back and forth from resting in the vibration of the body or the mantra, perhaps off to thought and easily back to the source of vibration. Please continue to rest and allow your awareness to settle in deeper and deeper. You might notice that the space between the physical experience or thoughts expands. You may notice more rest than you feel that you have received in quite some time. Allow yourself to be in this state of awareness, rebalancing the body, the mind, reconnecting with your highest self. And as you reconnect with your higher self, you begin to hear more clearly the true desires of the heart. Again, there is no judgment of anything that arises. And in this process, you are fully expanded. There is no constriction. 
of what is supposed to happen. There are no expectations or judgments of the meditation. It is simply pure awareness. Pure awareness and allowing that you are returning to your most whole, full version of self. And from this space of your highest self, every desire, every intention is possible. I invite you from this space to ask yourself silently, what is it that I desire? What do I want? What is my intention for the next phase of my life? Simply being aware of whatever comes naturally. What is my desire? And as you think that desire, witness it deeply rooting in the space of silence and expansion, the space of infinite possibilities and pure potential. Because in this space of your highest self, Anything is possible. There are no limitations. Allow this intention to sink deeper and deeper into the space. I invite you to connect to any feelings or emotions that you may have when this intention has come to pass. When you are living this desire in your physical manifested reality, how do you feel? You might even notice the difference in your actions Perhaps even the physical environment around you may change. And take a moment to really connect with how you're feeling. With what is going on around you. Using all of the senses, you may hear sounds, voices. You may see that there are people or colors around you. You may notice your environment. You may feel the air, the temperature of the external environment on your skin. You might even feel your clothes resting against your skin. Noticing your posture, your breathing. There may be a smell in the air. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy what it will be like to have this intention come to pass. Live it right now. And know 
that this or better is possible for you. And there is nothing you need to control or force to have this desire come into your physical manifested reality. You simply need to return to your natural state of being. Please gently release this intention allowing yourself to detach from the details that you have just lived through or witnessed. Easily letting them go, allowing the infinite organizing power of the universe to handle all of the details for you. And knowing that the outcome of this intention or desire will look very, very different than you just saw in your mind's eye. And it will be better and more magical than you could have possibly ever thought or imagined. Because it is coming from your highest and truest self. Taking in a deeper breath here. Allowing the inhale to infuse and ignite this intention of desire. Allowing the exhale to release and let go of anything that has stopped you from this intention from coming to pass in the past. Breathing in your worthiness. Allowing yourself to feel that it is your birthright to have this intention come to pass. You are so deserving. Every time you come back to a space of meditation, you connect with your higher self and move naturally into your desires. into who you are meant to be in your fullest expression of enjoyment and the fullness of life and the physical belongings and the relationships and the space of accomplishing every goal that you set out for yourself. A feeling that pure inner peace and knowing this, that you are exactly where you are meant to be in this moment. Knowing that as you reflect back on the past, everything has brought you here to this moment to guide you into a magical future full of your desires and infinite possibilities. Whenever you feel ready, allow the breath to begin to wake up the fingers and the toes, allowing your awareness to come back into the physical body. You might do a scan to notice any changes in the body, the emotions, or the mind before you gently Easily open your eyes, bringing your awareness back to the present moment, to the here and the now. And as you look around, see how everything is possible and how the change is about to transform in your life. Stay connected to this knowingness for as long as possible. 
knowing that you can return here anytime you need to reconnect. Anytime the stress feels too difficult and too compressed and you want to take a little mini break and you want to reconnect to the true self and the true intentions, you can come back right here by closing your eyes, bringing your awareness to your heart center and noticing that light of awareness. This is your true self, your full divine self. It is pure light, pure awareness, and pure love. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for allowing me to guide you in meditation. Enjoy the rest of your magical, gorgeous day or night. Please subscribe if you like this meditation. Please like the video. Share it with anyone else you know wants to set their intention for this time of transition. Thank you so much for your time, for your heart, and for your love.